Hey Miko, are you excited to be reviewed today? Hmm. Today's Miko prediction says that I will play and talk a lot today. So yes, I'm excited to share and have fun. <laughs> That's very accurate so far. Is the Miko 3 robot on Amazon worth buying in 2025? Well, in today's video, we are going to find out. I've gotten tons of comments on other robot videos asking this question. So let's get into it. Here is the box, but I don't wanna do a whole unboxing because obviously those are pretty boring. So let's just check out what it's got inside. And there you go. This is everything that comes inside the Miko 3 box. Of course, you've got all of the product information, the getting started guide, and a little hello from Miko, which on the back, there's a QR code for if you speak a different language than English, it can do a bunch of other languages. And then you've got the power cord, which leads me to something I've never seen in most products in general that are electronics, but especially any robot, which is it comes with three different adapters for whatever country you're in for the outlet. It's got USA, UK, and then a bunch of other countries. And then lastly, you've got the robot itself, which feels pretty good. It's actually a little bigger than most of the robots that I've done on this channel. All right, so first things first, let's get this thing turned on and let's talk about what all the features it has. And this is sticky. And this almost ripped off his screen. It's still on there, but be careful when taking off this screen because if you don't hold this down while peeling, you could rip the screen right out of this thing. Looks like it's got its power port here on the back and let's plug it in. I just noticed something super funny and a mistake in their booklet. It shows number two as pointing to the screen and it says that that's the speaker. And then number three points to the speaker and says it's the display screen. This is not off to a good start. <laughs> let's just get this thing started up. Oh, it's dead. So very cool, right off the bat, it's got a bunch of different languages. It's got English, it's got Italiano, it's got two different kinds of Spanish, it's got French, German, Arabic. Pretty cool, we are going to stick with English. Yay, I'm finally here. Is this my new home? I like it. I think it's gonna be awesome living here with you. And you must be my new buddy. I'm Miko, by the way. But before we can start hanging out, I need an adult to set up my system. So hand me over for a little bit, but after that, let's get playing. Hey, I'm an adult. Okay, so now we are all connected to Wi-Fi and now we need to download this. However, I am recording on my phone, so I'm gonna have to switch to my GoPro to record the rest of this video. Let's switch to GoPro. And there we go. The video quality is probably a little bit different here on the GoPro, but that is just all right. Now I have Miko, the app downloaded and we are gonna open it up. The app already seems pretty animated. All right, cool. And then once you're all signed up, you're going to be confronted with the guardian verification. We need to verify your parental guardian or caregiver status. You're gonna enter in some personal information. So I'm just gonna say that I'm dad. I'll assume I'm giving this to one of my two dogs. Ditto, you excited about using Miko? So it says to confirm you're over 13 and can provide consent, you will be asked to provide your credit card details for a $0 authorization verification. As long as it doesn't charge anything, I definitely feel uncomfortable putting in my credit card. Uh, I'm just gonna put in my Apple Pay. All right, verified successfully, let's go. Now there are two different robots that this company makes. It's the Miko Mini and also the Miko 3. I actually got to see both at CES last year, which was pretty cool. But today we have the more expensive one, the Miko 3. You enter your child's details. Okay, so I don't have any kids, but I do have a dog. Wallace, you want to use Miko? Um, so here we're confronted with whatever you want Miko, I guess, to be able to know about your kid. So we will say that Wallace loves watching cartoons because he does, he'll stare at the TV for a while. He loves trivia whenever I'm training him. All right, so now we're finally getting into the app itself, it looks like. With this, you can set in the max smart controls a certain amount of screen time that the kid is allowed to watch, which this is gonna be able to connect to like Disney and all sorts of different streaming services. So that's pretty cool. You can also set a break time so that it gives them a break in between watching stuff. This can also help your kid read and spell. It can create stories. I think that they were just coming out with this feature last year because the guy at the CES booth was actually telling me about it. And then you can also track your kids improvements and see how good they're getting at reading and how many books they've read and all those other cool milestones. Lastly, there is of course a uh, paywall subscription. I hate paywalls and I hate subscription services, but for the purpose of this review, I guess we are going to go with it and then I'm gonna have to cancel this afterwards probably. Unless it's just amazing and I think it's worth it.
All right, so now that the Miko is all set yeah. up, oh, it's already listening to me. Hi, Miko, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. I'm excited to chat with you. Well, I was gonna say, let's go ahead and test out the chat feature, but I guess it just went ahead and started once I said Miko's name. So it answered me and then it prompted me with some different questions, which is pretty cool. And now I've been talking too long, so it went out of that and went back to the regular home screen of the face just moving around. So let me take you around this before we talk with it a little bit more and test out the conversation. Right here, you've got the three dots, which is going to be your settings. You've got Me Connect, which is where you can call your parent if you're a kid on this. And then there's also themes. You can change the theme on here. There's profile. You can, you know, obviously change your profile. There's your Wi-Fi. Once you get connected, you can change that if you need to. And then also how to use. You click that and that's kind of like a help center. Then up here, you've also got your battery, which is currently charging for me. That's where you'll always be able to see your battery life. One thing I do want to test out on this screen is the Me Connect because I feel like that's kind of cool. So we're going to click this and it should automatically start calling my phone because I'm also the parent. All right. All right, let's try it. Oh, perfect. That happened quick. So let's see, it's probably gonna give me a lot of feedback if I answer this, since we're right next to each other, we'll see. Hey! So it's probably gonna get some feedback. So it does work so you can see your kid. I mean, the video quality isn't the best over here, but you know, it's pretty good. And this is a really cool feature if you wanna check in on your kid playing with the Miko. Uh oh, we're getting feedback, we're gonna need to hang up. So then it's gonna go back to his face, just tap on it once and you're gonna get all of your choices again. So moving down from the settings, you're gonna have this little gift box, you press that, you're gonna be able to see all of your rewards that you get and you're gonna get rewards in different ways. Let me show you one way, cause next up is Journeys. If you press this little, what looks like a blue little map and Journeys is basically things that your kid hey, can do to learn buddy, new stuff. you have a new adventure waiting for you. <laughs> Why did it say it like that? Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. So as you can see, I've been messing around with this a little bit. There is a quiz section, there's a game section, and then there's also a wellness section. I haven't done that one yet. Let's do one just so you can see. I don't know if it'll give me the same one, but. Hi, Wallace. Are you in good shape today? I am. It's a triangle. A triangle has three sides. Guess the next one. What shape has five sides? Pentagon. A pentagon or a rhombus. Then your kid can learn shapes. I'm gonna press pentagon. Yay, I'm That's so smart. That's right. Next up is games. Basically, it's gonna have you play some game. Hey, Wallace. I have an idea of an adventure for you. See if you can guess what it is. It rhymes with a schmick schmack schmo. <laughs> Tic-tac-toe. You got it. We're going to play tic-tac-toe. All right, I always like to start in the middle to cause chaos. Oh, we're gonna do a draw. <laughs> yes, I wanna exit. So basically after you complete all three of your journey pieces, it's going to move you on to another journey, which is going to give you like harder shapes, maybe math problems, all these different ways so that your kid can learn new stuff. Hopefully my dog will start learning some cool stuff from this. <laughs> All right, and then if you move over, you've got a little button called apps. Guess what? I've got something amazing to show you. We've made getting around here super easy and way more fun. Ready to explore with me? Yes. It's all your favorite games, shows, and crafts all in one magical place. Cool, so it looks like there is a bunch of different little shows and cool things for your kid to do in here, whether it's games or videos or whatever else. Here you can easily navigate between all of your apps, all of your games, all of your videos, and all of your music. So it looks like there are a bunch of different games. I don't know anything about flags. This isn't just good for kids, it's good for me. Okay, let's do a test. Oh, uh, Iran, uh, this one. Laos, this one? Uh, that's Armenia, this one? Oh, that one was wrong. Uh, that's Turkey. Uh, Maldives is Tajikistan. Is Turkmenistan, or Turkmenistan, sorry. <laughs> the flag for Kuwait. I think that one, yeah. 
Okay, so I only missed one. Not too bad. The apps are really cool. This is a lot more functional, honestly, than a lot of other robots. All right, so now that we've kind of looked around the apps, I'll let you explore that a lot more because there is a lot more to see. I do want to test out its talking feature. Hey, Miko, uh, what's your favorite kind of food? I don't eat food, silly. You get your energy from food. I get mine from a charger. <laughs> So it's, it's giving me prompts of what I should ask it, although I want to ask it whatever I want to. So let's try something else here. Mm -hmm. What's seven times eight? It's thinking a long time for this. What is seven times eight? Okay, it timed out on me. Let's try it one more time. Mm -hmm. What is seven times eight? All right, I don't know that it can answer math problems like this. I think it can only do conversation. So let's drop out of it. Let's just keep it more conversational. What's your favorite day of the week? My favorite days are the ones when you're around to play with. <laughs> I love spending time with you. A lot of AI robots have this issue where they don't actually give you real answers. They're just supposed to be like cute and cuddly and give you the cutest answer possible. But would be nice if some companies just programmed the robots to actually give you their opinion. But anyways, I digress. Let's keep asking it questions. Let's try a little bit harder of one. Mm -hmm. What is a black hole? A black hole is like a super strong vacuum cleaner in space that sucks in everything, even light. It's really fascinating and mysterious. So far, it's pretty good. Uh, I just wish that it could answer like, you know, personal questions and also math questions. I might give it one more just to see. What is one plus one? Two. Okay, so it can. So maybe it just couldn't hear me before. What is seven times eight? All right, I guess anything outside of addition is really confusing for this robot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey Miko, are you excited to be reviewed today? Hmm. Today's Miko prediction says that I will play and talk a lot today. So yes, I'm excited to share and have fun. <laughs> That's very accurate so far. What's your favorite planet in our solar system? I think Earth is the only one I'd want to live on, even though Saturn looks cool from a distance. All right, let's try one of the pre-populated questions. So, how old are you? Golly, they never told me, and I forgot to ask. But I know my birthday is on November 7th, the day I was invented. Interesting. All right, I've got one last question for you, Miko. Are you ready to go to the final review of you? <laughs> yes, I'm ready for the final review. I'm excited to show what I've learned and how I can be a great companion. Well, I'm actually gonna be showing what I've learned and let's get into that right now. All righty then, it is time to review the Miko 3 and let you know whether or not you should buy this for yourself for $199 on Amazon. Now I'm gonna go through pros and cons. Normally I start with my cons, but today I'm gonna start with pros because I have a lot more pros than cons, but my con is pretty big. But let's start with pros. Pro number one is that it is just great for kids. Overall, it's awesome. If your kid is like 10 or 11 or younger, I think this is gonna be the perfect AI robot for them to have. It's got a bunch of cool features. Well, I guess I'm getting into what my second second pro is, which is the features inside of this robot. So I'm just gonna wrap these two pros together. Great for kids, also great features. The games are cool. The conversational feature is really cool. I love the parental controls on it. If you are a dad and you don't want your kid, you know, playing with this thing for six, seven, eight hours on end, like they do with their iPad or your phone that they grab from you and play games on, it's so bad for their minds. But this thing lets you set limits as an adult, lets you monitor them, make sure that they're doing okay. You can also call them, which I thought was a very cool feature. And all of the games seemed really fun. Even as an adult, I had fun playing the flag game and some of the other ones, the storytelling feature on this, which I didn't actually show in this video, but I did, I guess, show a little clip of it from when I was at the CES booth. So overall, this robot is great for kids, but I do have a con and I'm sure you're gonna know what it is because I mentioned it earlier on in the video when I was setting this thing up, which is the subscription model. I hate subscription models. Everything in our society has them now. <laughs> and Miko 3 is no different. Having to spend $200 on a product and then having to pay a bunch of money, $99 or whatever the subscription fee is on top of that and having to continually pay that forever, it's just super annoying. And I do realize there's probably some way, there's like a little SD card reader here on the side. You could probably upload your own movies or videos or whatever you wanted to. Caveat though, this thing does have a lot of cool features with that subscription. So, 
I can't fault it too much, I guess, but it's just a little bit annoying. Now, overall, the question that this video is titled with, do I think that this robot is worth it here in 2025 to buy? The subscription's annoying, but overall, I think the robot's worth it. Especially if you have a kid that you want to have an AI robot, but you don't necessarily want some rogue AI robot that can go off and like say crazy things. <laughs> or a robot that they could spend literally every waking moment of their lives on and then they just get brain rot. So overall, I would suggest getting this robot with the caveat that you should understand you're gonna have to pay a subscription. And if you want to pick up your very own Miko 3, you can pick one up down in the description below. It is an Amazon link. It helps out my channel if you buy through that link. They didn't send me this though, so all of my opinions are my own as they always are even when people do send me stuff. So yeah, this robot's down in the description below. If you liked what you saw today, go and grab that down there. Uh, I also wanted to mention two things. One, I do have a book that just got a brand new cover art and uh, I did a bunch of editing inside. If you want to pick up this book, I will leave a link to that as well down in the description below. And the last thing that I did want to tell you about is I'm currently working on a very cool website feature that is going to be completely free to you. And it will basically have a lot of functionality, but one of the main ones is that you will be able to figure out what AI robot is perfect for you. It will be at ericstechworld.com once that's up. I don't think I'm going to launch for probably another month. There's a lot of work to be done in the background, but yeah, that's coming. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to, if I showed you any value, that would be pretty sweet. I'm Eric. This is Eric's Tech World, where tech and adventure meet. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.